This little Pegasus I got at a garage sale for 10 cents. It's a Rawcliffe minifigure pewter Pegasus figurine. I paid 10 cents for it and sold it for. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. In this video, I have 30 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These items sold for $35 or less, and I call these my bread and butter bolos. All right, let's get started here. All right, the first item I sold is this Cabela's Small Catch All Gear Bag. It's nylon. and I picked this up at the Goodwill bins. So probably had a couple bucks in it. It wasn't super big or heavy. And I sold this for $24.15 plus shipping and it sold very quickly. The next item I sold is this Monty Python Spamalot White Rabbit Puppet with the pointy teeth. And I knew about this one because I had received one of these, a different style, but the same character in a mystery box. Um, from a viewer, Mindful Recycle Terry. She sent me a bolo box full of really cool items. And you've probably either seen the video or heard me talk about it, but so generous and so kind of her. But anyway, there was one of these in there. So I knew what this guy was when I saw it at a garage sale. And I picked this up for 50 cents and he sold really quick for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. The next item here is this vintage pottery mini jug. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this, but a long time ago, I bought a whole bunch of brown drip pottery and it was definitely a bad buy. I will say that I got it cheap and I've sold almost all of it, but I definitely would not do it again. Uh, I sold this for $10 and the buyer was all in for $20.43 and that came from a garage sale. This little guy right here is a jelly cat vivacious carrot plush. And if you have not seen my plush jelly cat bolo video, go check it out. There is one jelly cat that goes in the $800 range that I am sure hoping I find someday. Uh, so check out that video. But I got this at the Goodwill Benz and this guy sold for a best offer of $22 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this TK metal whistle made in Japan. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold this for $8.50 plus shipping. This little Nintendo, Nintendo Dogs Mini Plush, it is retired, hard to find. I uh, picked this up in, I think I did listed this during a live show. I picked this up at a garage sale, it was 50 cents and I sold this for $17.25 plus shipping. This Coca-Cola hat, it's not in great condition. And I picked up a whole bunch of like Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew, I forget, just hats like that. None of them were big money bolos, unfortunately, but I have made a good uh, return on my money. I got them very, very cheap. And I sold this for $13.79 plus shipping. The next item here is this vintage horse head brooch pin. And it is costume jewelry. It wasn't marked that it was silver or anything like that. However, it sure looks pretty good, right? And maybe I should have lifted up that sticker. Oh, no, I'm kidding. It's it's probably just, I don't know. I hope, I hope it's not silver. Anyway, I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for $16 plus shipping. The next item here is this vintage punching puppet Mr. T figure. I got this at a... It says a mystery box. I know I got one of these at a garage sale once, but I must have got this one out of a mystery box. Uh, maybe I've sold two. I'm not sure. Unless I wrote it, wrote it down wrong. So it may have been a garage sale or a mystery box. Either way, it was probably a buck or less. Sold this for $17 and the buyer was all in for $25.29. And you can see here his facial hair is kind of crazy. I, I don't know if it was been cut or if that's how it's supposed to look, but... The next item is this vintage Lufkin 966 two-way red end folding ruler. I picked these up at that church sale. If you guys watched that video, I picked up three of these and I was actually pleasantly surprised at how quickly these sold. Um, definitely a bread and butter item, but they sold fast. And I just did my pictures like this. 
So ended up selling this for asking price of $10.35 plus shipping. This is an item that came out of the Goodwill bins. It's very small, probably had 10, 15 cents in it. And I just grab smalls from the bottom of the bins. Sometimes I lock them up, but this, I was like, I'm just gonna try it. And it sold really quick for $6.90 plus shipping. Definitely a bread and butter. This right here is a vintage flocked spotted fawn deer laying down. I do really good with these flocked deer. I always pick them up when I see them if they are cheap. And I got this one out of a thrift store mystery box, a Christmas box. And I ended up selling this for the asking price of $17.25 plus shipping. This also came from the Goodwill bins. It's a Lego Duplo replacement parts double swing and merry-go-round set. I sold this for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. The next item is this Kasik Brawl. And I picked this up at the Goodwill. And it says that I paid a dollar for it. I thought I paid more than that, but maybe it was a dollar. I thought it was two or three. I don't know. But anyway, you can see here the tag is in really excellent condition. And it's an unlined balconet. It's a 46 double D, which is a great size to sell. It looks like it's never been worn, but I don't know. So I marked it as pre-owned. Anytime I find this brand, I definitely pick it up. It is a hot seller. They do very, very well. I ended up selling this for $19 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1983 Cabbage Patch Kids doll quilted diaper bag. I got this at the Goodwill bins and I sold it for $11.99 plus shipping. This here is a Just My Size JMS Undercover Slimming Wire-Free Brawl. Again, it is a plus size brawl in size 44B. Uh, original packaging, not sure if it was ever worn, but I did get it from the Goodwill bins, so I went ahead and marked it as pre-owned. I sold this for $14 plus shipping. Plus size brawls are always a pickup for me. This pin, I can't remember where I got it. I've had it a long time. It took a long time to sell it. So Disney Mickey Mouse Major League Baseball New York Mets pin. I probably paid a dollar or less for it. I sold it for $10.49 plus shipping. This is a Playmobil Summer Fun Holiday Vacation Island Jet Ski. Some of the parts were sealed and it was an open box. I, I don't think it was ever used, but... I went ahead and put used just to be safe because some of the trees and the bigger parts didn't come in a bag. But I think that's pretty typical maybe of things like this, like the big stuff. They're not going to put it in a bag, right? Uh, this I got from the Goodwill bins and I sold it for $24.50 plus shipping. This little Pegasus I got at a garage sale for 10 cents. It's a Rawcliffe minifigure pewter Pegasus figurine. I paid 10 cents for it and sold it for $17 plus shipping. The next item here, I love this one. I got this at, also at the Goodwill bins. If you watch my Goodwill bins videos, I dig to the bottom of the bins and I scoop up all the small toys like this because they add up. This is a Blaze and the Monster Machines Gabby robot. This is tiny. Let me show you here. Oh, I sold something. Oh, I sold two things. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe we'll look at that at the end of the video. Um, $9.99 on cents on auction and you know cost of goods was next to nothing at the bins $1.79 a pound this guy is awesome he also came out of the goodwill bins he was attached to a vehicle and the vehicle was broke i do have the vehicle listed because it still functions in one setting um but so far the vehicle has not sold but this guy right here sold for $22.40 plus shipping he is the paw patrol dino rescue figure and i i don't know if this is supposed to be like a wheelchair or like it's, he doesn't have back legs. It's on wheels. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. I have not seen the video or the cartoon or the movie or whatever it is with this character in it. So not really sure what the story is behind that. But if you find this one, it is definitely a bolo. The buyer was all in for $30 and 29 cents for that. The next item is this Fisher Price Little People Disney Princess Frozen Sven Reindeer and Kristoff figure. Also came from the Goodwill bins, sold these for $8.40 plus shipping. This is a vintage 1995 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Red Battle Borg figurine. I was able to use Google Lens and look at the information on the item to figure out what this was because I was not sure. I got this out of a mystery toy box from a thrift store and I sold this for a best offer of $28 plus shipping. The next idea, item, not idea, the next item is this crocodile. 
Crocodilla, Crocodile, Armored Alligator action figure, Mattel 2012 DC Comics. Got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold this for $11.20 plus shipping. And if you guys are watching and you're new to the channel, I absolutely love selling toys. They are easy to find. They are usually very cheap at garage sales and thrift stores and they, they're they easy to ship. Like you just either put them in a mailer, a poly mailer or um, a small box. Most of my action figures I put in a small box. The next item is this Fisher Price Loving Family Dream Dollhouse Door Replacement. And this came from a garage sale and I parted it out and I sold this for $10.50 plus shipping. If you want to see more items that I have sold that are replacements, I have a whole what sold video on replacements, items that I take apart and sell and I use replacement or parts in the title. The next item is this Calvin Klein floppy hat. This also came from the Goodwill bins and I sold this for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. This little VTech GoGo -Go Smart Wheels train station replacement motorized train engine. I got this at the Goodwill bins and I sold this for $11.20 plus shipping. And it actually has lights, sounds, and it moves. These right here are the vintage Jack Track Chick books, a lot of six. And I had these from a mystery Halloween box sitting and sitting forever in my garage. And I kept putting it off. And then I saw um, Got Junk in Our Trunk had talked about these. So I messaged her and I'm like, hey, what do you think? And she gave me some little tips about selling these. And I ended up selling these for $24.50 plus shipping. So if you're not following Got Junk in Our Trunk, definitely go over and sub her up. She is a wealth of knowledge. The next item is this vintage 2000 Fisher Price Loving Family Coco Black Horse Saddle Blanket. Got this at a garage sale. I can't remember what I paid for it. I probably picked it up in a bundle of Fisher Price items. That's normally what I do. Sold this one for $22.40 plus shipping. This right here is a Memorex VHS VCR Video Head Cleaner Non Abrasive Wet Head Cleaning System. It is sealed. I got this out of the Goodwill bins and I sold this for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This right here is a Lisa Frank foam art sculpture stickers. And I talked about earlier in the video getting a Bolo box um, from Mindful Recycle Terry. And this was one of the items in the box. So what I did is I laid it all out because it was partially used, but it was vintage. And Lisa Frank always does well. I ended up selling this for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. So shout out to Mindful Recycle if you guys have not seen her channel. Oh my goodness, you have got to go check her out. She is a big money bolo finder every time. Um, she's also a member of the channel. So if you guys watch my what sold featured members videos, you guys see the crazy stuff she's selling. I mean, I want to be like her. <laughs> she is like finding these major bolos. Uh, she goes to a lot of estate sales and wow, just the stuff she sells is amazing. Definitely check her out. Um, that's Mindful Recycle Terry on YouTube. and. Let's see. Oh, we were going to look at what I sold. Okay, let's see what I sold here. I sold. Okay, this came from a mystery box that I purchased from Auctions for You. And it was more of a long tail item. I think it was a Halloween box, if I remember correctly. I do have an unboxing, so it took a while to sell. But, you know, it's kind of one of those items that I would expect that. It's a FINA, F-I-N-A, leotard, L-C child. I think that means large size. I don't know. But it's velour with sequins. And I ended up selling that for my, uh-oh, 16, there. Uh, sorry if I got fuzzy for a minute. $16.24 on that. And again, it came out of a Halloween mystery box. I don't remember what I paid for it. I think maybe $50 or $30 free shipping. I remember bidding on it. So. Um, it's been a while ago, long tail item, but Hey, you know, if you see those items at garage sales or thrift stores and you know, they look fancy or neat or different, it might take a while to sell, but everything sells eventually. Um, people ask, you know, what do I do? Um, if I've had an item a long time, I'm like, I don't do anything. It just stays in my store until it sells. It'll sell eventually. So 
uh, not everybody's business model. What do you guys do? Do you guys inventory and like donate stuff or do you just let everything stay in your store? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up. Definitely check the description of the video. I've got um, lots of information of things that I use like list perfectly. If you want to try it, you can get 30% um, off your first month with coupon referral code Bola Buddies. I am over on whatnot under Bola Buddies. You can use the uh, link down below. You get $10 credit if you use that. Um, worth point is another thing I use for my business. I don't, um, talk about a lot of things that I use for my business, but I do talk about the things I use and that's worth point, a list perfectly and photo room. Those are three things that I use all the time in my business and they are worth every penny. So, um, you will hear me talk about them often and there are links down below if you want to check them out and that's it. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching my bread and butter video. And I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell if you want to get alerts when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. Items that I picked up at thrift store. Thrifts. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's getting late. <laughs>